this is what we want to consider this evening see beyond the desert we are talking about as far as your eyes can see so long as your the power of your vision can transport your sight to miles away as far as the power of your vision can take you to it belongs to you as far as you can see go to the Abraham as far as you can see just look and you are going to possess wherever your eyes can possess and by faith Abraham looked with his spiritual eyes because his physical eyes were already weak he looked with his spiritual eyes and he saw the whole world and when Abraham saw the whole earth God decided to give him the whole world can anybody tell me any place where children of men do not claim to be the children of Abraham is there any country even those who are not Christians like the Muslim they believe in Abraham more than some of us here let us look at John 6 11 and Jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down and likewise of the fishes as much as they would now in this passage we have an embarrassing situation here in the congregation of about 5,000 not counting the women not counting the children Jesus wanted to feed the crowd and what he had was just two fishes and five loaves of barley bread not even AJ bread not even a gege bread and Jesus saw beyond the sizes of these five loaves of bread and he was able to lift up these loaves of bread and the two fishes and he did what and he was complaining to God is that what your Bible says Jesus lifted them up he looked up to his father in heaven who has the ability to provide and multiply what he has provided and Jesus gave thanks he looked beyond the five loaves of bread and he saw food from heaven the power of God that could multiply these five loaves of bread and make remainders to remain it did not just end there the faith Jesus had did not die with Jesus at first he started with a small boy maybe the boy just took the loaves of bread and the two fishes and then he went coincidentally a need arose and the place was dry it was a dry land where there were only grasses not trees that produce fruits even if there had been trees there was not enough food to feed these people and when this small boy was approached please can you lend us this your five loaves and the two fishes the boy gladly gladly gave he looked beyond the dryness of that environment and he did what and he kindly submitted those food items and then when jesus received them at first it was a disciple who said we have a small boy here with this loaf of bread and two fishes is that what your bible says fine and then that disciple's faith did not die he looked beyond the sizes of the food items and introduced them to jesus jesus gave thanks in that situation and then jesus presented these items to who to the disciples after lifting them to god and he told the disciples you take and distribute them now this is embarrassing this also looks like the miracle of turning water into wine 
Jesus did not go there after telling them, go and feed the jars. They went there, feed them. They met him. He said, Master, they are all feed. He said, okay, take some, serve, and give to the master of the occasion. It looks embarrassing. The water you just fetched yourself, Jesus did not go there to wave his hand. The general overseer did not jump up and down and sweat and scream and call Holy Ghost fire. He just said, you serve from that same water and do what? Give to the master of the occasion. Fetching water to fill the jars is not the challenge. It's not the challenge. After all, People in occasion, they do drink water too. But presenting the water to them was a challenge. Because what the people need that particular time was what? Was wine. As a matter of fact, some of them were already tispy. They were, some had already been getting drunk. We are already getting drunk. Because the master said, eh, it is the new wine, the best wine that's supposed to come first. And when people are drunk, you now present the old one. So, when we come face to face with situations like this, what do we need to do? If it had been me or you, Jesus gave five loaves of bread in that desert. And two fishes and said okay you go into the crowd and share this for the five thousand persons what will be your reaction i'll be a cartax i want to share them i'll be magician jesus multiply and first make a carry the plenty one go not before my hand if he fail Luca. we ourselves when it comes to spiritual things we don't tend to apply our faith well but if it is a money jobler money jobler they just put some notes into the water and they wash five five hundred naira notes out all dollars so people said we start plating that down. we may have people here who are putting money into mmm is that true? MMM, you want 30% increase. And when we do harvest, you see people who come and roll, there is no money, and your money is yielding 30% increase. Where is gold package? Where is mustard seed? Where is silver? Be wanting, wanting. Where are they? Eh? I'm not trying to give anybody BPL. We are in the house of God. But we should be wise. If you have faith that you give somebody 100 naira, and then within 30 days they give you 130 naira, why don't you use that type of, if you can have that type of faith, when it comes to money issue, why don't you use that faith in handling spiritual things? Is it wrong? 